Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to episode 15 of Project Architect. And you're probably wondering, why am I in the middle of the ocean? What, what am I doing here? Well, basically, there is a, there is a, um, like a fisher, a marine fisher. It's called, it's an entangle something. Hold on. I thought I remembered it. I haven't. It's an aquatic entangler and it's from the thermal series. And you have two types of bait. You have aqua chow, which you use in the aquatic entangler to catch more fish. And I have one in the pond out by my house. But then you have benthic aqua chow and you use to catch things from the deep, best used in ocean biomes. So the nearest ocean biome to me is this deep lukewarm ocean. And I've bookmarked it. And I want to go and see what's in there. I've just left it picking up stuff. And this is also a good chance to show off the um the trinket that I have. It's a uh, what's it called? It's called uh it's got a sea turtle. No, nope, not that. Turtle shell. You can breathe underwater. As you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. And there's a lot of mobs under us. I wonder if there's a some kind of dungeon or something under here. But anyway. Uh oh, this is quite underwhelming. Kelp, bone, and ink sacks. Very underwhelming. But let's have a, a look. It looks like it's just a cave. Oh, it's a cave. That's all it is. Oh, there's a monster box. Yeah, I got rid of you. Let's get the monster box going. All right, and you get close. It revs up, you get out the way, and then you get all of this stuff. And then you get good loot. But I'm not sure what good loot we... Oh. Am I full? Okay. Um, oh, what are you? Oh, you're a zombie villager. I don't want you either. I just want to see what my loot is. Oh, and uh, remember, don't lean back. Cobweb, horse iron armor, string. That was it? You're supposed to get really good loot from this stuff. I'm not seeing really good loot. Yeah, I'm not seeing really good loot unless, of course, it went into my backpack, maybe? Not seeing anything awesome. No. Usually you get some really nice stuff, but... Yeah, so yeah, there wasn't anything in here. Apart from yet another cave. Which is really annoying. <laughs> what was that? Ooh, wood. Why is there wood? Why is there wood? In the middle of the ocean. That's interesting. Oh, epic. Find an epic affix item. Okay. 
I don't know what it was that I found. Those turtles, I don't know what they do. But if you attack them, they like stomp and it's really annoying. There you go. But, you know, wasn't really any match for us. I, well, maybe this was supposed to be some kind of dungeon, but it just didn't generate properly. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back up. It was here, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. I want to go in this direction. But this is how far away from home it was to find some kind of ocean. Oh, hold on. Are we going in the right direction? Yes, we are. That's the one thing about the FTB waypoints. You can't actually see what they are until you get a lot closer, which is annoying. And all the colours seem to be quite similar. And it's like, I don't need the colours to be similar. Right, let's sleep. Because there's phantoms in this. Somebody's gone and put... Unless... Or was phantoms a 116 thing? I can't remember. Maybe phantoms was a 116 thing. But I killed a phantom. Not with the katar though. I just killed it. Uh, yeah. So I am recording this pretty much straight after the last episode. I'm I'm still kind of mourning my um <laughs> my poor villagers. And I'm going to jump onto a, a popular popular meme here and say press F in the chat for respects to my poor villagers. But I've hollowed out this section. These torches represent where I'm going to put the um the reactors. So I'm going to have six reactors. And I've got plenty of space around it so that if I need to, if I need to, I could always put an extra one on each side. And then also, if I want to, I can go, I can go deeper. So that's that. I think I need to, yes, it's right on the edge of my base. Let's claim some more chunk. You can't zoom in, which is a shame. There you go. And if it's going to be... If it's going to be um our power bit, it needs to be chunk loaded. Okay, so that's the room. I haven't decided what the pallet's going to be yet. Why did I fly over there? I could just... I've used that. Anyway. Ah, uh, right. So. Power. We want, not the starter. Yes. The basic reactor. What are we missing? Large capacity. We've made those. So basic or we need 36. So how many are we making? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. To be honest, we could have gone we could have stayed over there and done it, but it's okay. Uh, power station. Here you go. Start from the back. I have to take away the, um, torches because it won't put it down if there's something there. However, I'll just do that so I can, you know, at least I know 
where it's supposed to be. What was that? Cockroach wing. Yuck. I don't like cockroaches. Right, that's not going to work because... Oh, probably because... Right, why are you not going to work? Oh, there you go. All right, that's that's built. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's put you back. And again, I do like how the power. Reactors just build themselves. I mean, it's quite awesome. And like I say, you just put them down and go. You don't have to worry about it. Um, we, ha we have blue ice. And I think from blue ice you can make dry ice. Oh no, that's not what I want. That's okay, I only took... Like it's... Could be over one, yes. I put a blocks of two. Yeah, and that's probably okay. Yeah, that's fine. So that comes over one, two. That goes there. You go there. Okay, I'm probably going to have to build this out a little bit. Maybe out by... No, actually, no. I could put, like, clear... I think I'll put, like, glass or something in front. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, so we have all, all of our reactors. We need redstone in them. We need um, flux points. What else do we need? Flux plugs. Right, have I done all of them? Yes. Right. So let's see how we want to do this. Right, we need redstone, we need a power source. Can I use uranium in this? There's only one way to find out. Nope. No, that's not going to go there. Power source. No, not going to let me use uranium, which is fine. All right, so uh, can I use... I can use normal coal. And I need, there you go, it's starting to heat up. I need water, buckets of water. Control D. And I always thought that you needed, like, a constant source of water going in. But you just need one bucket, and that's it. You never have to look at it again. You got so you've all got water. Right, that's brilliant. Uh, uh, 
coal. Get a stack. Not what I wanted to do. I should have just got six stacks. That would have made more sense. What oh, way? You've got, you've got, and you, and you do not have. Okay, right, next thing is redstone. Right, so this far back in the cave. It doesn't like it. Redstone. Okay. Right, so now we've done that. Only thing we need now is Uranonite. Oh, back here doesn't like it. Come here. Can we do blocks of Uranonite? No. And Uraninite. That is uranium. No, you can't do blocks of Uraninite. One, two, three, four. And this button that I push is auto mode and basically the reactor will stop when it is full and start when it has less of 70% of its energy. That just means you don't waste anything. But these are all now producing energy. Can I just see? Oh, there you go. On the port there. So if we get, like, we need a flux plug because we want to take the energy from there and put it into our network. No, a flux plug or a point? All right, let's take out one. Receives energy. Adding energy. Right, that's what we needed. Because it's receiving energy. No, did I read that correctly? Receives energy, adding energy to your flux network. Yes, so it's plugs. And where is our configurator? And this is where our configurator works. Because now it knows where it's putting the energy to. So I don't have to go in and keep, you know, adding this and whatever changes I make, it's done. But if we go over to our base, are we? Would help for actually standing on that base. And then we look at our power supply. It's now going up exponentially because of our reactors, which is brilliant. And now... Oh, did somebody just go through the portal? And now the only other thing is how are we going to... I think to cut down on the number of, of entangled blocks that we have, I think we should have an EMC link can no can I put an EMC link here and extract from the link 
into this and it will automatically take out what we need because this needs a block of redstone and that needs uraninite is it going to do is it going to do both oh we need ice as well although i think we have snow blocks as well do we have snow blocks we have snow blocks those are cheaper i'm not sure which one is better because they both work on the um all right hold on if we take out a stack of snow blocks and a stack of blue ice i know the best thing is dry ice but i don't think i have enough dry ice in my system yeah I've only got 99 blocks go over a little bit All right let's put blue ice in you and it's minus 17 and snow in you and you're minus three uh, that's Dropping. That's dropped a lot faster. That goes down to 52 degrees. And this has gone down to 200. Okay. Blue ice is a lot better. Okay, so now I was wondering, can I take the EMC block and pipe out into our reactor and will it take everything that it needs? So, um, EMC link, that's one item per second. I think that would work fine. We don't need... We don't need a huge thing. And so we have a port here. Why can't I go? All right, that goes there. Want it above. We want um item. What is? Oh, that's the furnace. Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Item. That's what we need. Take out stack. Because I couldn't seem to want to have half a stack. Put you under. And where's our wrench? Okay, but then, oh, there's something about binding an item. Do I need to click on All right, it's not going to do it automatically, but do I need uh one item per second? No, not what I wanted. Uh, if I shift click, doesn't like it. Item removed from linker. But that's not okay. So that definitely didn't work. Did it break? Oh, there it is. I thought the blue ice. All right, so that's not going to. Oh, but then can I put a filter? 
by putting a filter. Is that not called a filter? Um, upgrades. Dark utilities. You know, I've never really gone into that all that much. No, it's not a filter. Um, if I do pipes. Oh, it's an upgrade. Right, if I do uh, the advanced upgrade. I don't know why I only took out three, because I need more than three. But this is basically to see if it works. So add blue ice. Bit. No. Oh, but you need um need a destination block. What? Okay. Edit and set the destination. All right, let's make a filter tool. Filter that. Okay, so destination would be that block there. Edit. Okay. That's, that's the destination it's supposed to be going to. Ah, crap. Alright. You're not doing very well, Shay, are you? I remember, don't click on anything that can change. Oh, empty hands. Empty hands, that's all we need. Still not going in. Okay. But that's not good. It's not going to pull it out. So how do we get it out? I mean, we have our power. The entangled block can take it, can put it in, but can the entangled block take it out? That's the thing. This is Project Architect Editions. All right, let's see something. Control. No. Uh, and access any item you have knowledge. Maybe I need the EMC interface instead. That might be it. Take you out. And, um,. No, I don't need to do that because I can do it from the tablet. Um, da -da. There's one. That's quite pricey. Nine minutes. Well, I mean, we can afford it. To be honest. We can afford it. Yes. That worked. That definitely worked. Okay. So the next question. It's neater to have an EMC interface on each one. But then it's more efficient to have it going from one into each thing. Well, let me take out five more. Let's see how much EMC we have left. Yeah, it barely made a dent. So that's what we're going to do then. 
Okay, I'm glad I... Uh, oh! No, it doesn't go straight in, though. Alright, so the next question... Will it automatically go in without me having to set a filter? I should say that's the last question. Yeah, that's the last question. How did my wireless grid get in there? Why is it putting... Oh, my days. It's putting... All right. Um... All right, it's automatically pulling in. You know what? I think it's going to... If I can put anything in there to charge, it will put it in there to charge. So I think I'll just leave that. I think I'll just leave that. Because it will start pulling in things that it can charge. But that is... I don't know. Empty hand, Shay. Empty hand. I don't know why I don't remember. Empty hand. So that's, yeah, I'm going to leave it that it's, I don't know why it wants to pull in the wireless grid, but it wants to. So if it keeps that block clear, that's fine. So that's that. We set up our power network. Oh, my days. I didn't even have to link it. It knows where to go and it's pulling in the stuff. It's going to be easier just to take it off and put it back on again. Yep, so these are now going to be powered for the rest of the time that there, as long as we have EMC. It's going to put in something in the charge slot, but that's okay. Oh, we missed this one here. And our network now has a very full battery. But what I could do, we could put up a few more. I think we can put up a few more. Um... I already have one, don't I? That's not my one. That is a one. Yeah, because that's mine. So I don't know what to do with this. Stick it in my backpack, maybe. Is that more dry ice. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. So that's it. I'll work out some. I'll find some place to put it. Stick you in here for now. So that's it. We've made. Can we sleep? Is it night time? It's not really. So that's it. We've made power. My stat? No, I'm not. That's. So we've made power, and it's it's working. We're using the EMC interface as very expensive hoppers to you know put things into our network but you know that's that's how it goes but like i said we have we have emc we have over four billion emc so that's not a problem um in between episodes i am going to just fix up this bit so it looks a little less like a block carved out of rock and it looks, you know, awfully decent. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.